Welcome everyone. I am David Guevara, pastor of Maranatha Christian Assembly here on the beautiful island of Tobago. As you can see in the title, this is a crossover between Moments of Truth, which I host every other Thursday on our Facebook and YouTube platforms, and Encounters, which features my young friend and brother, Karen Brebner. Both these programs are initiatives of our church's efforts to go digital and to meet people like you, where you live and where you socialize. Now, Karen is someone whom I love dearly. We've developed a relationship where we talk openly and share. And the other day, we were having a discussion and the subject of navigation came up. What came out of that conversation were gems simply too good not to share. Thanks very much, Pastor. And let me just say welcome everyone. Now, if you're watching this video, then it means you've made it into the new year 2021. And for that, we give God thanks. Look, I'm just so excited, so happy about this new collaboration we've done. And just to be able to share on a topic that's a real personal passion of mine. Look, Pastor and I were just walking and talking along the seafront here. And when he brought up the topic of navigation, it was just so easy, so natural for me to draw on my 15 plus years of experience navigating on the high seas. And I've been able to draw some parallels to the high tides and the low tides and trust me some rough seas and some calm seas in my own life look if there's one truth that i've discovered along my own journey is just how much i need to consistently depend on god to help me to navigate through some of these uncharted waters we hope and pray that you are indeed encouraged by this and you be sure to share this video with a friend and a family member as soon as you can. I know I said Karen is my young friend and brother, but it slipped me to mention that navigation is also a significant part of his profession. Karen is the former captain of the inter-island ferries, the TNT Spirit and the TNT Express, the vessels that serve on the sea bridge between Trinidad and Tobago. Given his experience as captain, I knew that he was the best person with whom to have this conversation. All right, now, I had so many questions while we were chatting with, while I was chatting with Karen earlier, um, that he brought me to this location where we have the opportunity to see some of the charts and for him to be able to explain some of the, the things concerning this important subject navigation so Karen tell me what is navigation well to keep it simple pastor and for those of you who are viewing out there navigation is a process basically from getting to one point to a next it's a journey all right and along those journeys or along this journey it's very important to know exactly where you are that's your position yeah and being able to use that to get to your destination in a nutshell so if we go to stop to think about how to apply that to our natural lives it means we begin with first making a clear understanding for ourselves as to what our position is where we are whether it be a financial position a social position a spiritual position to know where we are and then contemplate uh the the journey the way to get to where we are, that's right. to where we're going. That's right, because one of the most important things about positioning is that if you don't know where you are, you certainly won't know how to get to your final point because um, certain things can happen along the way. I mean, you may think that you're in point A when you're actually at point B, and that may be well off course from your planned track. So determining your actual position is so critical to the entire overall journey. So long ago, I know, at least I've heard, that um, sailors navigated with the stars and the ah, sun. Yes, yes, yes. How, in terms of the instrumentation now, you be, I'm guessing you have to know where you are at every step of the journey. Yeah. How's that done? Well, the thing about it is, with technology and advancements in technology, uh, we've come so long, we've come a long way from 
um, using celestial bodies and, and using instruments um, from way back then to a lot of you know innovative instruments that we have um, we still use stars and the sun and celestial bodies um, when the good instruments break down because they can break down and they have errors as well so that's like a backup um, but we're talking about instruments like the GPS um, everybody pretty much knows about what's a GPS uh, we're talking about um, electronic charts and even um, these these what we have here uh, paper charts or nautical charts as we call them these are critical part of really getting on the way and executing your journey and your passage okay so we've come a long way from stars and the Sun as you call them the celestial bodies to the technology that provide us with the necessary guidance system that's right and even as we talk about applying it to the life you know, it reminds me where the Bible says that when He, the Spirit of Truth, is come, speaking about the Holy Spirit, yeah. He will guide you into all truth. Now, what I'm thinking is that in in life, there, there's so many obstacles, and we need God's wisdom, we need God's help to be able to get through that. Um, but I'm assuming that even though the ocean looks so clear on top, I'm assuming that the same with their obstacles in life, that there are obstacles hidden mm -hmm. under the water. I'm guessing. No, well, definitely, that, that's, that's a fact because a lot of times we may plan our course and um, part of the planning uh, of the passage requires that you appraise the entire journey from start to finish. And in the appraisal, you're gathering the information that will affect your journey. So you talk about obstacles that are hidden, um, shallow waters and rocks and even wrecks. Some wrecks are beneath the surface. You can't see them. So information, um, you're going to find that in various um, documents, various publications, and even on the charts itself. This is an, a critical piece of uh, we call it equipment that you use to help you to properly plan and avoid these um, areas of danger. You know, one of the equipment that we use um, nowadays, we call it autopilot. Uh, you may be aware of that particular name or term, autopilot, where we can set our course and allow the ship to just be guided by itself, right, so to speak. Um, but what's important about the autopilot is, is that someone must be there to make sure and monitor that this vessel, although it's an autopilot, maintains the course that you plan. Or else, you can go off course, there's currents, and there's the wind, and other, other factors that you don't control that can move your ship off course. So it needs to be monitored as well. You don't want to end up in a position where um, you may plan safe passage, but end up in dangerous waters. So... Um, the autopilot is a critical equipment, but it needs to be monitored as well. And as you say, you know, the parallel is so true. You know, having the Holy Spirit in our lives is certainly that we call that a monitor for me to ensure that we maintain the course that God has set for our lives. Indeed, a monitor and a guide. And even when you talk about sailing into dangerous waters, ah. I mean, all of, us, all of us know somebody, and maybe even our own experiences, we've come to places and junctures in our lives where we wondered, oh my gosh, how did we get here? And um, it's so important, it, it comes to mind that the Bible, the Bible, the, the, Jesus said that thy word is a light unto my feet and a lamp unto my that's path. Right. Yes. And that's so important for us to know because then that provides the, us to know exactly, that becomes the chart. That's right. That's the right. chart. So that we can use to help us mm -hmm. to be able to go the course that God would right. have us go. Because even as you were talking there, it struck me, you know, it's not just navigation moving from one place to uh -huh. another, but you want to get to a specific destination. Yeah, that's right. And that's where the planning comes in. Mm -hmm. And we so need the Holy Ghost to help us plan. I mean, when you think of 2020, the way it just turned everybody's plans mm -hmm. on, on its head, you know, with the COVID-19 and the, the impact of the, the restrictions, etc. Yeah. And here we are in a new year, and we're pretty much facing... I, I don't want to sound, you know, dark, but pretty much facing the same thing. So we need God's wisdom and help. And certainly our viewers today need to be reminded of that. That, you know, when, when, when the psalmist is the one that spoke of God and he said, God said, I will instruct you and show you which way you should go. And that's so important because that is effectively what navigation is. Well, I'll tell you this as well, Pastor, because you mentioned COVID-19 and all the stuff that we didn't plan for. But even in navigation, you know, we can lay the courses down on the chart 
and uh, we can execute according to what we've planned. But guess what? Those plans can change. We would have to intentionally deviate from that planned course because of some great danger. For instance, we get a report that a hurricane is coming our way or, 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 or going to be, you know, broadside us, and we need to deviate from our planned course to avoid that danger. These things you don't really plan for, you know, in advance, but it comes up, they pop up, and we have to respond, respond in a safe manner. So sometimes in navigation, not just getting from point A to point B, you'd have to change course. You'd have to deviate from your planned course, what you had intended to do in the first place. The question for us is, how do we respond in a manner that gets us away from the danger and still get to our destination safely? And that's what navigation is about. It's really dynamic. It's, it, it's fluid. It's not just a, a, a point, straight line sort of thing, you know? And, and you can see so much parallels in our lives. Uh, we may plan a lot of things for our lives for this year, 2021, and we can see the end point down the road, but hey, guess what? We gotta be able to expect and respond to change of plans and know how to do so safely well balanced and of course being guided by the Lord. And with God's help, yeah, as you said, being guided by the Lord. That's right. That's, that's the help right. that's the help that's that right. we need. Yes. And that's gonna help us get to our destination. You know, Karen, I really want to say thank you for giving me the time to share this. And w when I think about it, it's so timely. So timely. Because as you rightly said, we are now going into 2021 right, yes. and we can look at charts here and in, 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 in the spiritual aspect, we yeah. can look in the word of in God the word, yes. and let the word be the chart and let the Holy Ghost help us to read those charts yes. and plan accurately as we go forward. That's right. That's right. All right. We just want to say thank you so much for joining us today, wherever you're viewing from uh, this episode. It's indeed an honor for us to be able to share with you and encourage you and build you and help you as you plan your own course, as you chart your own way uh, through 2021. Now, listen, no doubt there will be challenges. There will be times when you will have to deviate from your plan to course. But guess what? We encourage you, allow the Lord to guide you along the way. Dangers will pop up and things are going to happen that you didn't plan for. But let God be your guide. Indeed, I couldn't say that better myself. And we look forward to you joining us for the rest of the year. By God's spare our lives as we continue. Encounters will be coming on every two weeks, as will be moments of truth. And you know what? We can actually play on those words. Throughout this year, we are trusting that even as this episode began and continues through the year, that you will have an encounter with Jesus and discover that he is indeed the truth. Because the Bible makes it clear, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And when you get free, by the power of Jesus' name, you're going to need to know how to navigate to get to the destination that he has planned for you. All right, so Karen, again, God bless you so much. And we look forward to being able to do it and share with you guys throughout the rest of this year. God bless you all.